Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Morjax and this is Rocco and we are exploring uh, the history of Tony here. So as we're unlocking these rooms one by one. Oh, Bonnie, he's absolutely perfect. I can't believe how much he looks like Christina. Oh, did they lose a kid or something? This is going to be super sad. You're a big sister now, Christina. How do you feel about that? It makes me really happy. I feel like I've waited forever for a baby brother. You'll finally have another cub to play with. I'll teach him everything I know. I'll teach him the best games, the best hiding spots, the best places to catch fish. I'll be the best big sister ever. I'm sure you will be, Christy. I got a bad feeling that they like lost their kid or something. There's a letter with children's writing on it. Read it? Yes. Dear Christy, while you were at big kid school, I found this room full of baby pianos. Pretty neat, yeah? But here's the bad part. They're all broken. Each piano only has one key that works. Weird. If you want to play a real piano, though, there's one of those downstairs. Love, Benny. Oh. We could just do this by trial and error, I guess. Yeah. Why did, was there three trap doors? Why did there have to be three trap doors? Bum 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 bum. Fetter. Oh yes, the drums. Oh, you guys, I play taiko drums, so I really want to. I want those drums. Bum 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 bum. Yep, that's what we're supposed to play, all right. Sure is. <clears throat> Though through our uh, deductive genius, we figured it out on our own. Or not so much deductive genius as just I tried it a bunch of times. Okay, uh, second from the... Can we open these yet? Second from the uh, rightmost door now. Got it. Let's go give it a try. Oh, good, good, good. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, Benny, today I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you how to be a detective. Yeah, oh, he's so cute. Yes, I want to learn. First things first, we bears have a really good sense of smell. It's our most important tool. More important than a magnifying, more important than a magnifying glass? Yes, even more important than that. See, watch. I'm gonna close my eyes and using only my nose, I'll find some mushrooms. Hacksaws. Mushrooms! Wow, you didn't even look once. See what I mean? The next thing you need to know when you're looking for a bad guy is how to track their footprints. Bad guys always leave footprints. It's true. See these footprints? A bad guy made those. You're totally right, Benny. But that's not all. Check this out. There's honey in here. Who put that there? You caught me! The bad guy is dad? Run! Hehehe. <laughs> Your detective skills are too good for me. Cute. I feel like this is one of those things where they make you care a whole bunch about the creature, the, the characters. The creatures. That's horrible. Uh, and then they twist the knife, man. There's a letter on the ground. Let's see what it says. Dear Christy, when are you coming back from school? I have so much to tell you. I found another secret passageway, but this time it was in the closet downstairs. 
You know, the closet downstairs where Mon keeps the vacuum cleaner? It leads all over the house. There's a locked door up there too, but people were coming so I had to run before I could try opening it. I think I found the key that opens that door. Let's try it later when everyone's asleep. Love, Benny. Secret passage key. Alright, the vacuum... The vacuum container. Or vacuum closet. Queening. When your pawn reaches the other side of the board, you can replace it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. This is called promotion. Time for a promotion. Most of the time, players choose to replace their pawn with the queen as it's the most powerful piece. This is commonly referred to as queening. Do we need to... Move here? Whoa! Okay, just move this right up. They're not gonna take me. Oh, chess is easy when you get all the moves in a row. Queen me! Can I take their pieces? No, I cannot. Do I need to put the king and queen together? That would be best pals. I don't know. I'll come back to that. Or do I need to put them back in their place over here? Maybe that's it. Maybe I need to put them in their spots. And if I recall, it's opposite. Do I need to put these all back in their place? I hope not, because I can't move this guy anymore. Oh, I guess I can, if I go like this. I'm kind of going out on a limb here. I don't really know if this is what I should be doing. Okay, whatever. I don't think this is right, but okay, fine. I queen my thingy, so that's all good. My. My, it says on the wall. We got the, which, which closet is it? Maybe this one? Is this a closet? Knock, knock, open up. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where mom stores a vacuum cleaner. Oh, I think that's right here. <gasps> Beautiful. Five, ten, twelve. What is five, ten, and twelve? Oh, neato. All right, all right. Now we know how to get in here. This house is like, why would you put so much effort into the hidden passages? Oh, hell. Two sticks. Letter on the ground addressed to Christina's parents. Read it? Yeah. Christina did not attend school today. Her classmates said that they saw her sitting at the park during their walk to class. Given her failing grades, her inability to concentrate in class, and her social isolation, I'm recommending that she visit with a specialist. Please contact me so we can set up a meeting. This is for the best. This is for the best. So, 10, 12, and 5. I don't know what significance that might have. I'm going back to the chess room. We'll see if it respawned. I don't know. It did. It did, it did. Uh, um, 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 um. What do you want me to do, game? You obviously want me to queen my pawn, but then what? Replace it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. Promotion. Most powerful piece called queening. All right, queen me, bro. Okay. Queen me, bro. Oh. 
we can push it off the... Ooh. We could push it off the... Uh, off the board. That's super weird. Do we need to push it over next to the cleaning book? I don't know, what the heck. Queen me! <laughs> oh, man. I might skip ahead here until I figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do, because I don't want to keep you just waiting here indefinitely. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, so in the previous room, there was a chessboard. It took me a long time to find this here. Finish looking. Okay, we need to emulate that, but we have to queen our pawn to get it to work. So I think those three are in the right spot. We just need the queen. All right. Oh, man. Wow. I, okay. I was not expecting it to be that, uh... Hidden, I guess? But whatever, we got it now. That's fine. That's fine. So let us go and try that again. All right. <clears throat> so this is in the right spot. We just need to queen it. So we'll move it forward. Over, over. Queen, queen. All right, good. There we are. Ding. Okay. Excellent. Progress is made. My fault. Was that, did it say fault there before? I don't think it did. My fault. Oh. There we are. Do we have everything? I don't remember how much we need. We've got eight sticks. We've got five feathers. Backpack straps. Let's see what mom says about this. I need a hint. Switches, how it changes things inside the house. Hmm. I'm assuming that we will ultimately need these all on. Otherwise, why would we have them? And do we need to push these buttons here? Use these switches... Color coded throughout the house. Different on and off combinations. We'll change things around the house. Okay, so those are all three on. Let's see if this is open. Did we already do this? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we did. All right, this is this. Hmm. <sighs> Trying to see if maybe we can build the the thingy now. Benny was here. Because I feel like we've done Was it a note? Here we go. Six feathers, eight sticks, glue, backpack straps. So we've got eight, so we need one more feather and we need glue. We still have that hydrogen peroxide and cream of tartar. I'm not sure that that is uh, the best thing to be carrying around with us. So where do we get glue? Glue, glue, glue. Him. Let's briefly check downstairs. I feel like that there's some combination that we need of those um, switches to make it work.
what's in the fridge? What's in the box? Okay, I think I might cut ahead again here. I don't want to keep you waiting while I just stumble around randomly because I don't have a lead right now. I, if I have a lead, I'll keep you on, but this is, uh, I'm going to be looking for a little while, so. All right, hang tight. I'll see you in a minute. <gasps> oh, wait. Never mind. I just unswitched the switch and the middle door opened, so let's go there next. We need one more feather and we need glue. Good. Progress. I hate moving, Christy. We move all the time, and I'm always the new kid. They pick on me. It makes, makes me never want to leave the cave. I know, Benny. I feel the same way. But I'm taking you to a place that'll make you feel much better. Really? Christy, you're the best. I promise, Benny, you're going to love this place. This is so neat! How did you find it? It's like a secret hideout. It is a secret hideout. Our secret hideout. We can make our first official secret detective clubhouse. This is the greatest! Wait, but doesn't somebody already live here? Nope. Are you sure? What about the lanterns? And the garden? Forest spirits put the lanterns there. And the garden's just left over from the previous owner. Trust me, I've been checking on my walk back from school every day. This place is abandoned. You're right, Christy. I do love this place. And check this out. Ew. There's even a little cave that leads back to the main path. So if any bad guys try to catch us while we're doing our detective work, we can sneak out through here. We finally have our own place where no one can find us. Thank you, Christy. You're the best big sister ever. Come on, Benny. Want to see what the cave looks like? Yeah! <clears throat> mm -hmm. Children's comic book. There is folded... There is a folded piece of paper. Today, Christy and I found something really neat inside the secret passageway in the closet. There's another secret door in the wall. It leads to a small room at the end. It's so secret you can't see the door at all. You have to walk exactly 13 steps into the passageway from the, clo from the closet. Then you can find it. We're going to turn it into our clubhouse and use it for all our detective work. All right. Top right drawer. White socks. Steal some money. Neatly folded school clothes, coloring books, and family photo in a frame. All right. Feather. Now we just need the glue. Painting of a sailboat. A note attached. Oh. Benny, my boy, your mother tells me that bears are your favorite, so I got you this for your birthday. What will you name him? Love, Dad. <clears throat> okay, let me read this again, again super quick. Secret passageway in the closet. There's another secret door in the wall. It leads to a small room at the end. It's so secret you can only see the, can't see the door at all. You have to walk exactly 13 steps into the passageway from the closet. Then you can find it. Turned into a clubhouse and use it for all the detective work. All right, so let's go back down into the closet downstairs, which I believe this is what it's talking about. This one right here. Oh, is this what this is? Five? Okay, all right. So here, let's go like this. Just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let me in. I'm the worst sister. <sighs> this is pretty rad. There's the glue. There's a letter on the ground. Read it? Yes. Dear Benny, I think we're the only ones in this in the whole world that know about this place. Isn't it neat? I brought some candy for when we get hungry and glue from school so we can build model planes. The model planes dad just got us. I'll meet you here after school. Love, Christy. All right, got the glue. Several toy bears neatly arranged in a pile. The name Benny has been embroidered onto all of them. 
a jar of colorful children's candy. Official Secret Detective Diary by Christy and Benny, Invisible Ink. Chapter 1, Invisible Ink. Did you ever need to write a message that only you could read and not the bad guys? Mix lemon juice and water to make the ink. When you want to read it, hold, up, hold it up to a warm light bulb. This is how detectives do it. Okay, dusting for fingerprints. After a crime happens, detectives dust for fingerprints. You can do this using baby powder and mom's makeup brush. List of bad guys. Johnny, Dr. Killer, Mr. Evil, Roger, Alex, the dentist. Cute. Half-assembled airplane. Um... We've got all that stuff. How do we use it now? Do, do, do. I'm the worst sister. Looks like it's written in blood. Jeez. Brutal. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where we need to go to assemble it because I'm almost certain we have everything now. Yeah, we've got our six feathers. We got our glue. We got our sticks. We got our backpack. Strappies. Hmm. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go figure out what the heck I need to do with my life. Okay, alright, alright. So, when you turn all the switches on, you go in this last rightmost door. All these used to be open, they're closed now, so we can go up. Aha! There we go. Alright. I can't wait to eat. Nothing works up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. Okay, kids, dig in. I'm not hungry. How is this possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy? Sorry, I mean, we were both kind of snacking. Haha, <laughs> it's okay, we're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay! If you're lucky, your mother and I will save some, save you some food. <laughs> Benny, wait. Alright, so they're taking a family vacation. Christy. Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? I will. That's my girl. So they're on a family vacation. Okay, I've got I've got Christy control now. Hmm. Hiding behind a bush. Benny. What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Christy. See, look. Oh, no. It's really strong. Come on, Benny. Stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you, and... And I just don't want you to get hurt. It's fine, Christy. You worry too much. Benny, please. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Uh-oh. Christy, help! Oh, man. Benny! I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, oh man. Oh. Then he fell in the water and died, you guys. Oh. Dad. Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? It's okay, Christy. Your father's just very tired today from work. Why don't you come back and finish your dinner? Okay, Mom. Man! There you are, Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I think you should go home, Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner, like we always used to. It's just, you always said... Okay. I'll go home. <sighs> Mom. 
Yes, dear? Does Dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath, lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's also a lot of love for you. It doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christy. Good night, Mom. Man. Now we're back here again. Well, it looks like we have everything we need to make these wings. Let's get to work. Hun, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down? Like this? Yes, that's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Dang, those are really nice wings. Do you think they'll work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it'll be fine. Let's fly! I don't know how they got him to articulate like that. That's impressive. Tony? Hey, kid. How'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. It's for you. It's from Christy! Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love, Christy. Oh, Christy, no. No, I don't hate you. I love you so much with all of my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I live each day of my life with so much guilt, looking at you, you look so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. I know that's selfish, and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much, and I only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. Man... All right, Christy's journal key. So we'll fly back to her bedroom here. Let's fly. The moral of the story is watch your kids, take care of your kids when you're on family vacation. I guess that's the thing. It's like, it's not, it wasn't really Christy's fault. Cause it's not like there's something she could have done. And it's not really Tony's fault. I mean, I guess Tony could have, like, not eaten and followed the kids or something. I don't know. You use Christy's journal. Key. There's a folded note inside the label, uh, labeled, To Christy, From Dad. I'm sorry that I have to leave again, Christy, but to help you understand how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tucks you in tonight, promise me that you'll listen to this. And that you'll think of the song I always, uh, I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away for work, you should know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, Dad. All right, we found the way out. Oh, poor Benny. Daddy, I can't sleep. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Christy. How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. 
La la la, me me me, so so so. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course, and no warm up would be complete without a roar. That looks like screenshot material right there. <laughs> Daddy, you are the funniest. Dot dot dot. Oh, here we go, it's the song. If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. I think we just learned another song. Good night, Christy. You received Mori no Kokoro Part 2. Here we go. Two out of five, looks like. Huh? Where'd all the bears go? Hmm, I'm not sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have Blacksmith Jackie fix that music box. We better run there. Why is that? So we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there. Haha, ha, you're right. Let's go. All right. I think they just warped us back for... They had mercy on us. Welcome back, guys. We know the song! Okay, you do? Well, that's fantastic news. I'll get right to work. We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time! That's pretty fine work to make a music box. Oh, it's so sweet. My music box! T -t -t Tony Bear in my hut! Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Little Liebel, did you fix my music box? This music box belongs to Tony? Yes, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but he didn't know how to ask. So the Little Liebel did fix it? If I say yes, will you not eat me? I can't believe this. You don't even know what this means to me. I can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You are much nicer creasters than I gave you credit for. I guess I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much. The least I could do is show you my gratitude. I, well, uh, thank you, Tony Bear. And thank you, all my new little friends. All right. Oh, there we go. Mom, look. It's another door. Should we see where it leads? Yeah. All right. I don't have control yet, but that's fine, because that's where I was going anyway. Ew. Who's there? I thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me alone. Da, da, da. Christy? Hi, Dad. So that's where the bears went, out of the cave. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. <gasps> Another evening. Is our little buddy... Mom? Is our little buddy gonna come to visit us? Still sleeping? Yami, it's you. You should really be used to this by now. Hey. So I hear you're becoming a regular hero around here, eh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink creature, cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about the Liebels? Of course I do. You think you're so special, the only kid uh, who's been to the forest? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that at all. I just... Before, when you didn't understand why the book was important to me, I thought... I thought that meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Yami, I just... Hey, I was kidding, it's all good, you don't have to explain. Heh. 
Wait. So that means... You know about Morizora? Of course I do. That's great, Yami. Why don't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe it the first time I saw it. Everything was so wonderful there. The creatures are real. And they want to talk to me and help me. And I want to help them too. I wonder if... This is not like a real... Uh, I don't know, like a, a revelation thought, but I wonder if Yami is like part of um, the main character here. Everyone loves you when they want something from you. Wait, what? I'm just saying, it's human nature, you know? You shouldn't feel bad about it, it's just the way it is. Are you gonna wish for anything? From Morizora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw he was sleeping, and even if he did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think that? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help people. Kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Oh, Yami. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna get busted if the nurse catches, catches me again. I'd better go. So we're the only one who ever sees Yami. I'm wondering if he's like some... And like the... the uh, The outline of his character picture is pretty similar to ours. I guess he's a little bit bigger than we are. You helped me. Huh? Why? Because I break in your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? Haha, <laughs> no. Well, maybe. What are you on about? You keep me company. And you understand. Nights are the loneliest, you know. But when you're here, it's not so bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. Mm. Yeah, so like maybe he's a part of us or something Because we're the only ones who ever see him What's up guys? And we don't know why we're in the hospital yet I, I don't, I mean It's probably something really sad like you, Leukemia or something like that I don't know Hi sweetie, did you sleep okay? I did I feel refreshed That's what I like to hear So it looks like we're all set I'll get these tests to the lab, and... Shanti, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but we're having a bit of a problem. No worries, Kenji. What did you, what did you need? Well, I hate to tell you this, but... Kisaburo got out again. What? He broke down the new boards we put up and got into the space behind his room. And I'm pretty sure he got outside too, because there's more boxes and more mud. Ugh, why? I just don't have time for this now. I'm thinking we might have to reevaluate re Kisaburo's medication. Unfortunately, I think you're probably right. Sorry guys, but I gotta run. You're free to walk around today if you like. Yay! Thank you, doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Kenji, I'll meet you in Kis at Kisaburo's room. Why do I think Kisaburo is next? What do you think? Should we go see what's going on with Kisuburo? Yeah, let's go, Mom. All right, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rakuen. Um, I figure we're probably about halfway through the game, something like that. Uh, I've been trying to record longer episodes just so we can kind of keep moving through it here. Um, so I appreciate you tuning in. I'd also like to give a thank you to uh, Mystic Wolf, who's uh, helping me out in the comments and... Um, so I appreciate all you guys' comments. It's fun to chat with you guys, all of you. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time for more. At last year's International Pizza Expo, they talked about Morjax plays zero times. But maybe if you subscribe, we can change that for this year's expo.